Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Morrowind. Um, all right, it's been a while since I've recorded, but everything looks good. Uh, there are some reasons for that. Um, I may have mentioned this a few times in the past. Oh boy, all right, where are we at? We're going back to, well, so we're just heading straight south. Cool. Um, Oh, that is with sprinting. Great. So, uh, my wife is still in college. Uh, we are both 23, for reference. Uh, and she's finishing up college. And part of the stuff that she has to do at the very, very long end of her trial is... Or not trials. The, the stuff that she has to do involves her going elsewhere and doing a whole bunch of stuff there. So, you know, that's that's cool. And I'm proud of her. But right now, she's uh, two states away and will be there for the next three months. Um, part of why I dyed my hair is so she'll be able to tell that this uh, these are videos recorded after she left. Um... Because now that she's away, she'll have time to watch my videos. Because normally, if she wants to see me, she just comes into the other room. But now, um, whenever she's not studying, hanging out with her roommates, or... I mean, I guess that's really all she has to do there. Uh, she'll have these videos to watch, so... I dyed my hair a little bit so she can make sure to see it. Uh, but yeah, we drove her there, um... We being me and her, and then some more friends. Um, met their parents, actually, the, the friend's parents. Uh, it's my friend Aaron and Katie, specifically Katie's parents. I mentioned them a few times, they're the ones who got me to slay the spire. the glass dagger. My short blade skill is pretty high. I think that'll be my go-to for a little bit. It's also not enchanted. Then again. I take a chance. So the disease scrib has corpus, I believe. Um, because corpus is one of those things that anything can get. I've actually bought a bow now as well. So I'll be able to do archer and stuff. Cliff racer. But yeah, suffice it to say, I haven't played Morrowind in a little while. Uh, I haven't recorded it. Yes. I also haven't done the challenges. I actually did some yesterday, though, but it had been a while since. Um, and I was going to go do some right now, but I was like, what if instead I just played some Morrowind? And I wanted to play Morrowind, so we're back in. Um, so yeah, suffice to say, it's been a little while since I recorded the last one, because prior to Sarah, my wife, even leaving or going away at all, she had to do finals. Because, uh, you know, uh, American schools have summer break, summer being starting in the spring and ending much sooner than uh, fall begins, but, you know, summer break... So she had to do her finals for college, like regular college. And then right afterwards, start getting ready. So I helped her get ready for her finals. We did this one night where we were just like 
We were awake the whole night. We just rolled into the next day. Go to our college, pick up some stuff. While we were in town, we went to a new comic shop. Um, it was actually really cool. The guy there... The guy there's so interesting. He's like... He seems boring, right? And he talks about things in a boring way. But he's very intelligent and passionate about comic books. And he's a very interesting guy to talk to. His name's John, I think. He's probably like 60 or 70. And he's just like the hugest fan of Alan Moore. Which, like, makes sense. Uh, we agree on a lot of things, but for the details. Like... Of the British comic authors, he thinks Alan Moore is the best. I think Grant Morrison's the best. Um, I think that Frank Miller's, like, the fact that Frank Miller went completely insane has ruined his older work for me. Uh, and in general, for that matter. Not just for me. Um, he thinks that the older stuff, like he did on Daredevil or Batman, is still good. Um, but he does admit that he lost his mind, which I like. Um, for those who don't know, Frank Miller is the guy who did 300, Sin City, and a bunch of good Batman and Daredevil comics. Uh, and he went absolutely crazy in the mid-90s and then slipped even further after 9-11. Uh, attempted to write a comic book where... Batman fights a bunch of Islamic terrorists. DC did not go through with that, partially because the name Holy Terror Batman, you know, Holy Terror like terrorist, like a jihad, uh, was actually already taken uh, by a much better comic, which I almost, I might recommend, honestly. It's a comic where it takes place in an alternate universe where, like, restructuring never took place, so Britain was never freed from the Catholic Church and the whole world's a theocracy. And uh, Batman learns that his parents were shut down and killed by Oliver Cromwell's like secret church police, I think, uh, and declares a jihad to take down the church. And it's so interesting because like it makes sense, you know? I don't feel like jihad gets enough respect in America. Like Paul Muad'Dib of Dune, um, the book series Dune, which Morrowind is heavily based off of. I brought it up before, but for me, that was weeks ago. You know, he declares a jihad. Batman has declared a jihad. You know, I feel, I feel like jihad doesn't get enough respect. I mean, I guess I understand why. Um, so the video in which I do some of the... Sorry, I'm getting distracted. There's the ghost fence. Anyway, uh, so yeah, Frank Miller wrote a book called Holy Terror, where Batman, like, fights a bunch of Islamic terrorists, but it kind of segues into being really weird and racist, because it's like, at first they're just Islamic terrorists, and then they're just Islamic people, and somehow the level of power assumed is all over the place, like, initially they're just doing, like, simple shit like car bombs and like bombs filled with nails and things that you could expect somebody to whip up in their backyard and then they have like an F-16 fighter jet and it's all part of this plan to destroy America as carried out by foreign governments that don't actually hate America they just happen to be peopled by non-white people like Frank baby you want to pump the brakes I could talk about how much I hate Frank Miller for hours in fact Frank Miller was apparently friends with Will Eisner. And if you don't know who Will Eisner is, suffice to say, in the same way that there are things like the Tony Awards for musicals and plays, or the Oscars or the Grammys, comics have the Eisner Award, and it's named after Will Eisner because he was one of the most important comic authors of all time. And he wrote a comic book called The Spirit. And after uh, The Spirit got tied up in legal shit for like 100 years... Jesus. Uh, Frank Miller finally got to direct the spirit. Jeez. He's actually kind of kicking my ass.
Jeez, a Pete. All right, what are we talking about here? Let's do one of these. Damn. Wow, um, that sucks. One moment, everyone. All right, well, going back this way, I wandered into a camp of people, I guess, so... I guess I'm fighting you guys now. Jeez, guys. All right, hold on. Let's see. Santa Restore Health. Let's drink you. What the hell? Let's drink a Sujama. It's always my headcanon that... I guess we can call him the Nereverine now. That's what this player character is called. They really aren't, man. Do I have a shield on? I totally don't. Jeez, see? Kite and short sword. Let's let the boot. My stuff's better than yours. Nirat Shin Ilu. I get some money. Nirat Shin Ilu. And Kanat Esmapatetetis. I gotta start leading with the Dwemer, uh, Dwemer Jink Blade some more. Run up a rest here, guys. God, we could do that. Um, so yeah, Frank Miller had Sin City, his comic book, made into a movie. And he was credited as one of the directors of that movie, of Sin City, even though he didn't direct it. But the guy who actually directed it used the comic book basically just as like a straight script. And so... Um, decided to just credit Frank Miller as a director for some reason. And so, because of that, Frank Miller also directed The Spirit, and The Spirit is ugly to look at. Like, the comic sucks. Or the movie of the comic, rather, just sucks. It is obnoxious to look at. The kind of fake image it goes for is just so... Road. Like, it's just such. It's not a good movie. It's really bad. Um. Uh. So, of course, I own it on Blu ray. Yeah, little segue about Frank Miller there. But yeah, we met a really cool guy with a really cool comic shop. We bought some comics as well. I finally got a copy of Monstrous, which I've been looking for. Jeez, there you go. Uh, more of you guys, huh? Let's lead with... Drink blade, here we go. And then, we just hit you with this. Thank you for waiting your turn, sir. Titan dagger. Boiled nut Aquarius. The fact that these guys are named NPCs is kind of worrying me. You know, like, I hope that I'm not killing people that I need to be alive for the main quest to happen. Or I guess really for any quest, you know? I'm going to turn the game audio down a little bit because that is some really, really loud wind. All right. That should be better now, right? I think it is, yeah. 
Okay. I'm trying to think of what else we did. We slept like all day. My wife slept for like 16 hours straight. Uh, on the day she left, she made some really good French toast. And the batter is actually still in the fridge. I should make some. Um, I've been eating kind of weird, kind of bad for the past couple days. What? Oh, right. Duh. Hey, maybe I'll just take this back. I kind of don't want to go past the ghost fence, and I don't want to take the time to go around it. But let's stop in and see what we got on here. Mar gone. Margon is a redder and egg mining village in the northern Ashlands, north of Aldrun, close to Foyada Banidin. Foyada Banidad, the ghost fence, on the plains beneath Red Mountain. Monsters have been breaking through the ghost fence here and attacking the villagers. Fortunately, the monster fighters have answered the call for volunteers to help be, to come help protect Mangar. Margon. Pilgrims of the Tribunal come to visit the Tower Shrine where Lord Vivek outwitted the bad Daedra Lord Merun's Dagon. So yeah, this is a, it's an egg mine first and foremost, but it's also a holy site because uh, Vivek, it, you might hear about it in one of the canto, cantos, in one of the lessons of Vivek, but there was a big sight of him out thinking a Daedra Lord. There's several of those. Um, I think, no, it wasn't Dagon. I think it was Molag Ball. Like, in, in, the, uh, in the lesson with, Ooh, trade house. So in the lessons of Vivek with, I don't want to catch what you've got. It's just a common disease. Right, I'm sick. Let it show that. What is it, my son? I'm a trade house. Sure. Uh, let's see what you got then. Oh my god, what is it? Is that hitting my mic? Meow, you stupid cat. Whatever. It's got no weapons. It's got Flynn, Brandy, and Grief. Eh, it's an alehouse. I guess that makes sense. Uh, I will if they're ever in Mangar you can be sure to assume that people will come here to get drunk the only place in Mangar where you can get drunk Let's hear it. keep your distance can't you tell you're sick Let's actually just hit the uh, Silt Strider and get the hell out of here. What else do we do? Um. Oh yeah, I got a comic of John Carter. I am something of a fan of John Carter. It's admittedly a little weird because Ed Edgar Rice Burroughs was racist as shit. Um, John Carter, if you didn't know, is a... A uh, long-running series of books by Edgar Rice Burroughs, the guy who created Tarzan. Uh, and moreover, it's specifically about somebody getting like isekai'd to Mars back when we didn't understand that Mars was empty. So, like, they get that um, Mars was a desert, but they don't get that Mars didn't have any people on there. I 
I find it a lot more imaginative than Tarzan, but understandably, it didn't really blow up the same way that Tarzan did. Here's that Sunrider. Good checking in. Travel. Can you get me to... Damn. Why walk when you can... How close... Aldrun is not bad. Nisus is further away. Travel. Aldrun, I guess. Oh, God. I'm in you. Oh, thanks for the ride. And now it's just a more straight shot south, actually. That's pretty great. Yeah, originally I was going to avoid using the, the Silt Striders to quick travel, but, like, considering how much walking is in this game and how much walking I, Alfred, have had to do in the real world, I'm backing down on that. I, I want to walk places. Like, but, man, there's a lot of places to walk. In this game what are you doing there's so much wildlife you mad woman crazy what are you nord what's this about i may have an escort you'll do in a pinch i need to go and go i don't have the time what? go to hell you're just a random woman who is like, hey, will you escort me through this dangerous environment? Look at this. Look at this. Look at how crazy dangerous this is. You want me to go to the ghost fence? I just came from the ghost fence. Uh, Yeah, it's here. The ghost gate. Uh, let's do a good deed. I want the money. Oh, she won't do it. Yes. Whatever. If you make it, you make it. Can't re you don't say. My god, there's so much wildlife. I am lush and awash in nature and the world around me. God, I love Morrowind. <laughs> Yeah. So I mentioned this, but yeah, Ghost Fence is meant to keep the sickness that comes out of Red Mountain in. And the sickness in question is Corpus. Um, and it's this crazy thing that turns people into zombies and ash vampires and stuff. And that really strong dude who kicked my ass was an infectee of Corpus. Because it does actually make you a little stronger. Take that, rat. I should remember that. I need good footage of me fighting animals. Come on now. There we go. I think I'm going to sell that magic bow. It's not really doing a lot of work for me. I feel like I hit better with my worst bow. I'll probably sell it and then spend the money I uh, earn on draining my archery skill. Actually, what's low? What do I need? Marksman. Is only 21. Jeez. Yeah, my lowest skill is axe. Ironically, I actually just did a bunch of work with an axe yesterday, but considering that it's much like a club or a lot of weapons, in fact, really anything with a handle, I'll count it as... I'll just count it. It doesn't really matter that much. 
Balmora. All right, we're on track. But yeah, one of the things... Oh. Uh, escort quests in this game are mind-numbing. They're awful. Say your business. One of them town bosses, how about you help me? I think I did something bad. Sure. Take a note to someone in Caldera. Oh, I'm right near Caldera. Yeah, let's do this. Sorry, I've been trying to not get distracted, but I can only last so long. My wife was like, what are you up to? Got distracted. Oh, man, what a good game. Pizzazz. Bashuk Grabat. I think that's a woman. I think that's a woman's name based on the gra. Because I think men have grow. Man. I know that I like almost overbook myself with long ass RPGs, but like I can't wait to play Skyrim. Someone Someone in particular. Damn. My time is precious, so make it quick. Not helpful. Go. <laughs> Three pennies. I'm in the money. Oh, I've, yes. Uh, I knew that. So yeah, I met with my uh, friend's parents. Her dad is cool. And apparently he wasn't always that cool. He's recently gotten cool. He's got the same shirt as my dad. It's wild. Like, our dads have so much crossover. It's really weird. She made specific reference uh, request of me, in fact. Wait, where am I? Note to slaves. No scratching the bedposts. I'm in the slave I'm in Slave Shack 2. Not exactly my favorite uh, B-52 song. Bring your joke box money. When Kate's mom hugged me, she mumbled like, boy, aren't you tall under her breath? And I, internally, I was like, uh-huh. You want something? You want to say that where everyone can hear that, honey? Or no? It's a little odd. Who am I to complain? Okay, so I don't know if we checked this. Let's check this. I'm in Caldera, right? I'm not in Caldera.
I'm in the mining thing near Caldera. Oh, minecart track. Hell yeah. Ebony mining is good business. If you can, like, you can go into some of these places, like some of these ebony mines, and get ebony. And just sell it. And it is good money, man. I really want Skywind to come out already. Um, I know that more Oblivion is out, actually. I'm pretty sure it is, at least. Um... Which is just the mod that turns Oblivion into Morrowind. And I'm pretty sure that that is why I will play Morrowind. Uh, or play Oblivion, rather. Because I have not played Oblivion, actually. You know what? Let's actually go to Balmora. And then catch a cab to Caldera. I'm amazed I didn't take any damage. I guess I must have just done a little, like, Nerevering butt slide. Side of beef. God damn you. Away, you fuck. I'm not sure if I want to play Skyrim modded or unmodded. Like, I know that playing Skyrim unmodded is a little gauche, because, like... God, Skyrim is one of the most played games of all kind of all time. Like I myself have already played 700 hours or more of unmodded Skyrim. I'm led to believe that this won't be a shortcut, will it? But on the other hand, playing Skyrim with a whole bunch of mods installed is its own, like, oversaturated genre. And, like, I know a lot of exploits for um, unmodified Skyrim. I don't exactly want to lose all of those should I uh, mod the game. But, like, I kind of do want to make the combat a little more active. Because combat in Skyrim really feels very video gamey. You know? Like, how do I put this? I want it to feel more fighting gamey, you know? Like, I wish that there were more games like Dark Souls. But what I really want is more games like Dragon's Dogma. And I've talked about this in the past, but Dragon's Dogma is a little... Oh, I might be able to get to Caldera from here. And then let's take a Silt Strider from Caldera to Balmora. Wash my hands of this stupid quest. I can't believe I went to the Caldera mining town instead of the real Caldera. I feel like a real ponce. Um, yeah, duh, it's right over here. I really am not good with directions. <laughs> Maybe while I'm there, I'll be able to sell my uh, bow. I'm not a criminal in this town, am I? I don't think I am. Please, I don't wish to catch whatever you have. This better be important. Ooh. What do you want? Barter. What do you got? Iron Viper Blade? Damn, dude. Warhammer of Wounding. Devil Cephalopod Helm. <laughs> Where 
Where is this thing? Here we go. Bone biter bow. What else we got? How much is this? Oh, Jesus. It's a little much for me, I'll be honest. Actually, do you have a potion of cure? Poison resistance. Damn. Whatever. Oh, that's the helmet. But he's got a guard there. This bastard's thought of everything. Stealing your money and sleeping in your bed. Where's the? There it is. It's behind you. Oh, you moved. What's this? Please, I don't wish to catch. All right. Someone in particular. Say your, say your words. Bashuk. And there are two orcs here. Speak quickly. I'm creeping. What the fuck. Um. Hmm. Take the weight off a little bit. You must be her, right? Damn. only imagine what that might be I say in my journal it's a very simple pleasure to run across rooftops in any RPG really Fool get himself. He's not smart like me, you know. Take this note to him if you can find him. Okay. Now we just gotta get back to wherever the hell he was. I'm on quite a sidetrack here, aren't I? Whatever. I think we just head back. Yeah, along this path, right? Let's go a little off of it because I don't want to... Damn it. I sold one of my many knives because I don't really need that many. It'll keep my pack a little lighter. That was great. Also, in case this question has been burning inside of you, I forgot to mention it, but uh, the shirt in question that both Katie's dad and my dad own is a Deftone shirt. It's the one with the owl on it. Bodied. Hip. 
There we go. It's good to be recording again. I, uh, I was starting to go a little stir crazy. I've been here for like two days. It's just me and the cats and like, I am kind of losing my mind. Like the fact that I have to do this 30 more times set in because I do have to wait the whole summer for, for it to be done. Also, this one is just for me, and it's really annoying. Uh, my lease is going to be up before my wife gets back. So either I have to move all of my and her stuff out of our out of our home, out of our apartment, and find a new place to live, and then she'll come back to a new home that she's never been in, or. I've uh, walked about more, didn't I? Yep. Oh, well. <laughs> Quite a pair of these two are. Give me a note to bring back to Bug Roll. Assuming the little coward hasn't run off. This is so demeaning. That's pretty funny. Or we need to re-up our leases. But the thing is, the lease that we have to re-up is... Like getting way way more expensive for less stuff so we should find a new place to live or play hardball and see if we can you know scam them again because we've done that a few times um i mean we haven't done anything illegal but like we're just like they're they're frequently just like yeah so we're gonna up it by like a hundred bucks And we're going to... Actually, is this a temple? I think it is. So, yeah, we're going to up your lease by like 100 bucks. And we're going to make it so you can't have the things that you had. And they're like, all right, well, uh, we're probably going to move somewhere else. And then like a day or two later, we get an email and it's like, so we're prepared to offer... Did I... Somebody cast Cure Disease on me, for God's sakes. Maybe I can buy a potion off of her, actually. Shopping for enchantments. Spear of Light. That's pretty rad sounding. Wow. That's really cheap. I like that. Hmm. Not bad. But yeah, they've changed management a couple of times, and our luck might be running out. And we have lived here. Like I've I've I've, I've lived here for like three years. Um, and this is my first apartment. Uh, you know, the first place where like I've honestly paid rent with my own money because like I did pay my dad some rent. Um, but like, come on. I don't really know how much that counts. All right, onward, Caius. Please, I don't wish to catch whatever you have. <laughs> Your orders. I've spoke. You've spoken with Sul Matul and Nibani Maxa, and from what they say, it sounds like you really could be the Neverine. That's just incredible. I'll have to get used to the idea. Let me try to get word to Mara Milo. Maybe she can find whether the distant priests have any lost prophecies. In the meantime, I have a tough assignment. You ready? I'm ready. Don't get overconfident. I agree. You're ready. 
Just in case, I'm going to give you 400 drakes. Before you head out, make sure you outfit yourself with whatever healing potions, new gear, a little training, whatever you think you need most. If you get in trouble, back off, rest up, go back fresh. Don't get cocky. It'll be tough. Fort Buckmouth sent a patrol to Narmok, hunting smugglers with six health connections. They found a base, a shrine, and a priest named Dagoth Gares. Speak to champion Raisa... Is that Raxa? Raxarulia? Raxapulia? Raxapulia? At Fort Buckmoth, Buck she'll tell you about the patrol in the Sixth Health Base. Your orders find the base, kill Dagoth, bring me a report on the base. What can you train me in? Oh! Speechcraft, huh? Neat. Yeah, let me go get some. Let me hit the Fighters Guild up. Where's Buckmoth? Is that it? Yeah, Buckmoth. There we go. Oh, it's right by Aldrin. Um, Maybe I'll just take a boat over there. So here's the issue with side quests. We have to go back to page 52 to go back to that quest. It never goes to the front page again. It'll always be just further and further back in it. Um, and it's just one of the many things about this game that was fixed by the ones that came after it. But yeah, like, eight places again, right? It's just, like, the journal in this sucks. <laughs> How I wish that weren't the case, but... Yeah, it really could be a lot better. Fighters Guild. Train... Uh, right. Wow. Here's a fine one. Speak freely. Fighters Guild... Don't have orders. Right, I have to do other Thieves Guild guys. Alright, let's see what you've got, sir. More arrows. Imperial Net Blade. You know what, I like that. I'm going to take it. I'm going to sell Icicle. I know it's a unique thing, but, like, I don't really care. Uh, I want a good axe. Go for training. Uh, I'll be fine, actually. For you, at least. What about you? Yes. Give me some block. Give me some medium armor. Give me some long blade. Let's see if there's anyone else down here. I want to get some short blade training. Although, that might be a Thieves Guild thing. Shit, the Thieves Guild hate me, actually. In this town, at least. Please, I don't wish to catch whatever you have. Block and athletics. How can I help you? go back to what I was talking about earlier. Um, so Dragon's Dogma is like a cool-ish game, but kind of draining to play. Um, because it just takes so, so long to walk places and to get anywhere and to get anything done. And it's really cool. You know, I like having a big open world like a Skyrim with a cool, really clean, tight combo system and combat system like a devil may cry but man dragon's dogma has nothing to do in the world it's just a very long walk to places uh hello 
Oh, I guess he must have gone to bed. Um, I'll wait here for the morning. Um, I guess I'll go to Caius's house and sleep in his bed. I need to sleep anyway. Because I've got enough uh, stuff stocked up to level up. Because, yeah, Skyrim and Morrowind, I will say, have bad combat. The magic is okay, but melee combat is just kind of pathetic. Um, like, you just swing, you know? You just swing and hope. It's even worse in this game because of the die roll mechanic, but, like, it could be so much better. It's 5 a.m. Let's go for three hours. In your dreams, a tall figure in a golden ra mask spoke to you. Lord Nerevar Indoril. Hail Redzania. Uh, Redzania is the original name of the of the country Morrowind. Uh, long forgotten, forged anew. Three belied you. Three betrayed you. One betrayed you and was three times true. Lord Vorin Dagoth, Dagoth Ur, steadfast liegeman, faithful friend, bid you come and climb Red Mountain. Beneath Red Mountain, once again, break your bonds, shed cursed skin, and purge the Inwa from Morrowind. There we go. Um, nice. Oh yeah, someone asked why I call Caius a crackhead. That's a skooma pipe, and that's moon sugar. Uh, those are all drugs you take. Caius' cover story is that he does crack, you know, space crack. Um, but, like, he's got funding by the Emperor, so he doesn't have to worry about scrounging together the money to buy more crack. He's buying it on government-sanctioned cash. Moreover, he doesn't have to worry about things like getting caught, because he is the law. He's a special agent of the Blades. So you're not up here still. Oh, he fell off. <laughs> yeah, this can happen. Um, this is a very weird bug. The way that Bethesda games are put together, NPCs are referred to actor in the referred to as actors in the code. Um. Oh God. NPCs are referred to actors as actors in the code. Please, I don't wish to... um, which is how Bethesda games are not be able to be made so quickly, but why they don't really need to spend that much time coding. Because normally in like a Final Fantasy, you would individually code the behavior of every single NPC all separately, all together, one by one, one at a time. Which is a little mind-numbing and takes a while. However, in uh, Bethesda games, they set NPCs as actors and have actors preset to go to certain places. They follow certain rules. So, you know, actor will go to work, go home, sleep, go back to work. On weekends, they'll hang out. Just for you. Say hello, All right, let's head to Aldrun. What am I doing here? Uh, Fort Buckmouth. Which is, yep. Safe. Anyway, so yeah, um, Bethesda NPCs are just set up to like go to work, go home, sleep. When you're done with that, go back to. Oh God! I heard the combat music and I was like, "That's a little weird." Hey, free loot though. Kind of like it whenever um, they kill guards because it's a free way of getting their armor. And legal for that matter. Ain't crime if you didn't do it. Uh, 
Uh, anyway, so yeah. They said it as... an actor. And they follow a preset path and walk, the way, walk their way home into work, and then on the weekends they hang out. There's a bug in Morrowind. The path is not completely the same. They go a little more left and up than they're supposed to. Which means that eventually everyone's going to be in this ocean if you play for long enough. And it's very noticeable with... Oh, thank God. You were you really scared me, man. You're not up to something, Dean. Well, I usually am. Right, where's the lady I'm looking for? I don't wish to catch Here we go. I'm race. Alright. Race of Puglia. Champion of the garrison at Buckmouth Legion Fort. And you're Galena Pitchblend. Kaya sent you, didn't he? Says he wanted to handle the sixth house base. One only one trooper returned. He died after, horribly disfigured with corpus and out of his wits. In his ravings, he spoke of a cabin on the coast. He called it Yulinbi. Not on our maps. We try asking locals in Narmak. They thought they fought with cultists and disfigured man beasts, corpus monsters. I think they fled the attackers and got lost in the caves. They ran into a half man creature named Dagoth Gares. Degoth Garus the, slew the rest of the patrol, but spared the one trooper. Told the trooper he was being spared, so he might tell the others the sleeper awakes and the sixth hath has risen, and Degoth Ur is our lord, and I am his priest, and all be one with him in the flesh. The trooper awakened outside the caves and returned here. We couldn't recognize him, he didn't respond to questions, just kept rambling like a madman till he died. Corpus disease is something I've heard of but never seen. The trooper's flesh was swollen and covered in gross. His bones twisted and lost their shape. He spoke to himself as if in a dream. We didn't recognize him except for his clothing and armor. The fort chaplain tried spells and potions but couldn't cure the disease. He died soon after he reached the fort. Didn't realize how fast Corpus kills. It sure wasn't pretty. Soup seems saken. I'm a little worried myself to tell the truth. Do you have nipples on your armor? That's a little silly. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Can you hit me a uh, disease resistance? Cure cheaper disease resistance. Cure common disease. Put that on me. Thank you. Uh, and how about I give you some of this? Some of that. Some of those. Oh, yeah, some of that. How about some of these? What the hell? Let's sell some Danger Hearts. Oh, you can't afford it. Take one of those off. What else can I get off of you? Do you have a restore health disease resistance? Swift swim, huh? Fortify health. Oh, restore health. There we go. Call it even. Thank you. Where am I heading? Narmok. Actually, this is probably a good place to cut the episode. Um, I've been Alfred. This has been Morrowind. Sorry for a little shorter and disjointed episode, but it has been a little while, and I'm getting back into it. Um, I've also just realized that some of the screen just got cut off because Morrowind runs in a weirdly shaped window. Oh my god, I'm so getting back into it. 
the rust is very evident. Uh, boy, that's embarrassing. But yeah, um, I'll see you guys later. I've been Alfred. Thank you for coming by for this very stupid episode of Morrowind. Uh, see ya. <laughs>